Hi, I'm Peter Kamström of Kamström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will continue on the phone messages application that I set up in my previous demo. I've added a list and I've added some items to this list. Now we're going to create a couple of views. We're going to do today's phone calls on return and grouped per person called. So let's do that. And I'm going to create a new view. Of course, there are two ways to creating views. There's the create view on the list tab. There's the create view button right there. So I'm going to do that. And of course, there's a third way too. Let's show that one too. That's a good one too. Under the list settings at the very bottom there, you can create new views too. So anyhow, when you're creating a new view, you can start by selecting the type of view that you want. Usually I go with a standard view, but you can do a standard view or you can do a data sheet view also calendar based view or Gantt view based and, or an access, an access view. But in this case we're going to go with a standard view. And let's start with the today's phone calls. Let's start with that. So I'm going to do a standard view. I'm going to name it today's and then I'm going to scroll down and use the filter. And as you see this help text here, it has two of these filter values that you can input today or me. And in this case, I'm going to use the today field. So let's um, use that. And of course, the what I want to filter on is the time of the call. And in this scenario, we rely on the receptionist to enter the calls as soon as they're coming in. So the created date and time field here, the created date and time field is going to be equal to today. As far as I know, there are no others of these filterings, just those two, but they're useful enough, I think. So let's uh, add that. And of course, now this is showing the same ones. All these have been created today. So that's as it should be. I'm going to create another view. And that's going to be a grouped view per person called. Just per called is enough. By called. It's shorter. <laughs> at least one letter shorter and then we're going to find the group by and I'm going to group by the called. Click OK. And there you see I have three phone messages for Anna and one for me. Very good. And finally we're going to do the unreturned. So I'm going to do another one, create another view, also a standard view, unreturned. Um, there it's always going to be no on those, so I'm going to take that away. I don't want to show that field. And I'm going to do another filter where the returned is equal to no. Actually, I'm not going to do that. And that's uh, that would work, of course, in most cases. But in some cases, you have null values in your fields. So I'm going to do this instead. I'm going to do not equal to yes. Because that will, of course, include both the ones that have no and the ones that have null. So that, in my experience, works a lot better. So OK for that. So now I have the all items by called. I have the entry. I have the todays. And I have the unreturned. So I've created all the views I needed. In my next demo, I'm going to set up a workflow that uh, announces to people that they have a new phone message. Thank you for watching this demonstration.